even going to get into the absurdity of bringing luggage on a three-hour tour. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Gilligan's Island. Seriously. Follow me. I was just sitting around the other day and I had a little doo -doo -doo -doo, and my mind started thinking about shit. I'll, I'll get right to the point. I realized all of the shows I watched on TV my whole life, the one show that really was over the top ridiculous was, get ready for it, Gilligan's Island. That's right. I can almost understand shows like Bewitched. It was fantasy. I Dream of Genie was fantasy too. My favorite Martian? Yeah, sure. My Mother the Car? Okay, if you believe in reincarnation. The Monsters and Adams Family? They were just freaks, so I can buy that. The Flying Nun? Why not? But Gilligan's Island was not fantasy. It was supposed to be this unfortunate thing that happened to real people. And Gilligan's Island may be the most fucked up television show ever created. Here's why. Okay, first off, I'm not even going to get into the absurdity of bringing luggage on a three-hour tour. Now, imagine you're going to take the Circle Line cruise around Manhattan. That's like three hours. It's on a boat, and it's a tour. You're taking luggage on the Circle Line tour? Come on, what? You're bringing multiple bags of luggage and steamer trunks? We're going on a three-hour tour. We'll go back to the hotel when it's over. What are you, fucking insane? Let's break this fucking bullshit show down now, shall we? Okay. Gilligan and Skipper make sense, believe it or not. Even though there's really nothing to do on a shitty little tour boat. I get it. Gilligan is the fucking gopher, and the fat-ass Skipper drives the boat around and tells the tourists shit like... Okay, on your left, there's a shitty lagoon. And over on your right is a fucking pineapple farm. I mean, it's a fucking three-hour tour around a Hawaiian island. What is there? Beaches, lagoons, and plants. Anyway, okay, let's keep moving on. The character of Marianne makes sense. She's a Midwest girl, obviously seeing Hawaii for the first time. But alone? No friend or family? She goes alone? All right, fuck it. Let, let, let's accept that. And I could argue that the professor, I guess, was maybe interested in science, like maybe the native vegetation or the way the waves break on the beach or, or wind currents or whatever. But I'm surprised he didn't bring another nerd geek colleague pal with him. So, so you have a Kansas girl and a professor on the boat by themselves. Now, here's where the show goes completely off the fucking rails and actually starts to tick me off. First of all, let's talk ginger. She's a beautiful, famous movie star. Alone. Going on a cheesy three-hour tour. Now, if I changed this to Marilyn Monroe doing the same exact thing, we would have all called bullshit. Oh, yeah, Marilyn Monroe is going on a three-hour cheap old tour boat with strangers in the middle of the day in Hawaii. I don't think so. The ginger angle is almost the biggest stretch. And then we go from the ridiculous of ginger to this creative infomnia. An incredibly rich and famous man and his wife, who are both over, get off their yacht, come out of their five-star hotel penthouse suite and take a limousine over to the marina, then pay $2 and go on a three-hour tour serving potato chips and Royal Crown Cola with complete strangers. This is like a billionaire today doing the same thing. You think Warren Buffett is taking his wife on that fucking boat with those fucking people? The whole thing is absolute bullshit. Then you start to think about G uh, Gilligan and the skipper's underpants. I mean, come on. They couldn't keep washing the same pair every day. They had to decide to go Rambo at some point. And Gilligan has one pair of white pants and they never get dirty. And then people are wearing formal dresses and tuxedos. And Ginger has different sexy gowns. She walks around and all day with, with high heels. What the fuck is going on with this completely fucking crazy show and by the way they were always visited by someone who had a boat and Gilligan would fuck up and the people would leave or escape and these idiots would be stranded again seriously 
if I'm there, when the next fucker shows up in that island, I'm whacking Gilligan so he can't fuck up. And then I'm whacking the new person with the boat. And I'm getting off that fucking island already. Gilligan's Island. That's what fucking ticks me the fuck off.